Я курю слим на груди Суприм. Мой отряд скейтеров погибнет молодым. Я не вижу... What is up you little legends, it's your boy Dan, or little Lego Dan, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel, and we are actually going to be starting off the first episode of a brand new series, and this will only be continuing if you guys actually enjoy it, so, if you enjoy this video and you want to see more of these story time videos on the channel, then be sure to smash that like button, if we can hit, I don't know, let's try and go for a crazy number of 40 likes, if we can hit 40 likes, then I will make another story time video, if we don't, then I will just judge it off the kind of response we do get on the video. So firstly, I just want to start it off by saying that this story time series is not going to be something where I'm just going to be sharing a bunch of exaggerated lies, like a bunch of YouTube channels do nowadays, you know, how I lost my virginity and I lost it in the back of a fucking caravan, and I was 11 years old. No, it's not going to be any of that sort of bullshit. It's going to be real life stories, real situations that have happened to me. No bullshit, no exaggeration, how it's happened, and that's how it's going to be. Like, I don't understand why people exaggerate stuff, but that's best saved for another video. Let's get straight into today's story time. So this situation which I'm going to be talking about involves me, Amber, also known as Ambix, who's my girlfriend, and it also involves one of my good friends, Luke. Now, basically, the way this all started was we went out on a lovely... I can't even remember, I believe it was a Saturday night and we just went to the beach with a bunch of friends Then you know, got laid, I think it was about 10 o'clock, maybe half 10 night, correct me if I'm wrong on that one But, you know, everyone separated, we went to the bus stop because we all get on the same bus Luke is the one who will end up getting off first, then me and Amber were going to get off at the exact same bus stop because she was going to be staying over at mine on that night Now here is where things take a turn for the worse because the area I live in isn't exactly the most friendliest and it isn't filled with the most friendliest of people when they have had a little bit too much to drink so I think this can kind of tell where this is going especially judging from the title we went to the bus stop you know because we have this massive bus shelter where about 50 different buses come you know there's different stations from like A all the way to Z I don't I don't even know didn't really care didn't really mention about that or even pay any attention to it so we went to our whatever you want to call it bus stop we waited there and basically drunk people came over and started asking if we had any cigarettes or anything, we were just like, no. So we wanted to get out of this situation quickly. So Luke, being the good person he is, was like, you know what, let's go outside, avoid any conflict with these creepy, horrible people. So we done so, he went first, then I went, and then Amber, being the logical person that she is, went around everyone. Basically, as Luke went past, he supposedly knocked her or knocked one of her brothers i can't even remember what happened i just there's only one specific part of the story which i actually can remember properly so he goes through i literally do this kind of thing where i like dodge past people because i don't like knocking people because for this exact reason i hate getting into conflict with people and then amber being who she is she just literally walked around and avoided any problems so she was pretty much cool so basically after we go outside she ends up following off behind us because you know, she was drunk, annoyed, probably a little bit stressed out, wanted to get home and wanted someone to argue with. So she ended up storming out, started harassing us, saying all the stuff like, oh, why'd you knock us or why'd you knock your brother? I can't even remember, to be honest, I can only remember one specific part, like I've said. And then she basically ends up getting in Amber's face, saying stuff like, oh, I'm going to stab you all, I'm going to get you done. Getting in our faces, making like threatening gestures, like, oh, you know, I'm going to hit you and all this kind of stuff. And I was just like, really? This is, this is what society has came to these days. So basically after she starts making threatening gestures to all of us, she ends up getting a little bit up close and personal with Amber and me being the nice person I am, I kind of stepped in, you know, protecting girlfriend as you would usually do. If you don't, then you're a terrible person. You, you're, you're a bad person if you don't protect someone. So I end up stepping in and then I'm apparently starting apparently being cheeky being cocky and all this kind of stuff and then here is where things take a turn for the goddamn worst she turns around gets in my face and out of nowhere i think you can kind of guess what happened bang punch in the face and to be honest it was actually quite funny because the kind of reaction i had the reaction that you would usually have in one of these kind of situations is like ow that really hurt and you'd probably like drop to the floor or something or something would end up happening and you'd end up like fighting back or something. But me being me, I literally just stood back and went, literally, this is exactly what I said, just went, what are you doing? Like, in the calmest possible voice ever, I was like, I was like, thinking this to myself now, I'm like, what the heck did I say? Like, I was just being so calm in that situation, I just don't understand why. So after that first encounter of getting punched in the face, she proceeds to continue harassing us, saying a bunch of shit, 
you know, as you do when you're drunk, the either the truth comes out or you just say a complete and utter bunch of nonsense, which a lot of people do. That kind of takes after my dad for just saying a bunch of nonsense, but she carry on, carries on with all of that kind of stuff, and then she ends up getting in our face again, and yep, it's basically just deja vu again. Bang, punch straight in the face again, and before anything got even worse, we got on the bus and we went home. Now one thing which really bothers me about the situation is the fact of, since it was a woman who saw it on us, maybe in a 16 year old boy, and I believe she was claiming she was about 21, but upon finding who it is, I'm not going to mention who the name is just because of the fact of like, I don't want to be causing any shit, I mean I've, I've already caused enough drama on YouTube, I can't be bothered causing enough drama. Again, so I'm going to leave the name disclosed, I'm not going to mention about it, but basically I found out they were only like, I believe it was 18 or 19, that the exact same birthday as me, they were just born a few years earlier, which is actually kind of scary to be honest, but thinking about it, she's a woman, I'm a boy, and it's a fact of when she ended up hitting me, I was literally just standing there and you had everyone in the bus stop, like literally just bursting out laughing like, because you know, when you see a woman hit someone, it's the funniest thing in the world. But it's the thing of, if I was to hit that person back, I probably would be in the hospital to be honest, like no exaggeration, that's not just because of the area I live in, that is literally just because of the fact of that is the way society is, and that's the way it always will be, and it's not exactly going to change anytime soon, and it's just the fact of, you know, you're not allowed to hit a girl if you do, so basically, I get hit, and it's apparently a laughing matter, but the thing is, if I'd done something else about it, me being the kind of person I am, I didn't do anything, I literally just said what the fuck are you doing, but if I was to do something back, I probably wouldn't be here making this video to this very day, I could probably be dead, because there was a lot of people there, a lot of grown men, so I probably would have been dead to be honest, like, <laughs> no exaggeration, I probably would be dead, but that's going to about wrap it up for today's story, if you guys have enjoyed it, be sure to smack that like button, if you've had any experiences which have been kind of like similar to mine, like, I don't think anyone my age is going to have an experience kind of similar to that. Getting started on at the bus stop and then getting punched in the face by a drunk person who's like a few years older than you when you're like 16. But if we can smash 40 likes for today's episode, that'd be absolutely goddamn awesome. If we can hit 40 likes, then there'll be another story time getting made. I'm, sh I I'm sure I'll get some stories out of my head what I can remember from my childhood and I'll be able to share them with you guys. But if you liked it, like the video. If you disliked it, dislike the video. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I will catch you guys later, hopefully it's an awesome day and I shall see you guys in the next video.